69 to 73 Psalm 69 Save me O God for the flood waters are up to my neck deeper and deeper I sink into the mire I can't find a foothold I am in deep water and the floods overwhelm me I am exhausted from crying for help my throat is parched my eyes are swollen with weeping waiting for my god to help me those who hate me without cause outnumber the hairs on my head many enemies try to destroy me with lies demanding that i give back what i deem steal o oh god you know how foolish i am my sins cannot be hidden from you Don't let those who trust in you be ashamed because of me O sovereign lord of heaven's armies don't let me cause them to be humiliated O god of israel for i endure insults for your sake humiliation is written all over my face even my own brothers pretend they don't know me they treat me like a stranger passion for your house has consumed me and the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me when i weep and fast they scoff at me when i dress in burlap to show sorrow they make fun of me i am the favorite topic of town gossip and all the drunks sing about me but i keep praying to you lord hoping this time you will show me favor in your unfailing love o god answer my prayer with your sure salvation rescue me from the mud don't let me sink any deeper save me from those who hate me and pull me from these deep waters don't let the floods overwhelm me or the deep waters swallow me or the pit of death devour me answer my prayers o lord for your unfailing love is wonderful take care of me for your mercy is so plentiful don't hide from your servant answer me quickly for i am in deep trouble come and redeem me free me from my enemies you know of my shame scorn and disgrace you see all that my enemies are doing their insults have broken my heart and i am in despair if only one person would show some pity if only one would turn and comfort me but instead they give me poison for food they offer me sour wine for my thirst let the bountiful table set before them become a snare and their prosperity become a trap let their eyes go blind so they cannot see and make their bodies shake continually pour out your fury on them consume them with your burning anger let their homes become desolate and their tents be deserted to the one you have punished they add insult to injury they add to the pain of those who have hurt pile their sins up high and don't let them go free erase their names from the book of life don't let them be counted among the righteous i am suffering and in pain rescue me o god by your saving power then i will praise god's name with singing and i will honor him with thanksgiving for this will please the lord more than sacrificing cattle more than presenting a bull with its horns and hooves the humble will see their god at work and be glad let all who see god's help be encouraged for the lord hears the cries of the needy he does not despise his imprisoned people praise him who heaven and earth the seas and all that move in them for god will save jerusalem and rebuild the towns of judah his people will live there and settle in their own land the descendants of those who obey him will inherit the land and those who love him will live there in safety psalm 70 please god rescue me come quickly lord and help me may those who try to kill me be humiliated and put to shame may those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace let them be horrified by their shame for they said aha you have got him now but may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you may those who love your salvation repeatedly shout god is good 
But as for me, I am poor and needy. Please hurry to my aid, O God. You are my helper and my saviour. O Lord, do not delay. O Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me and rescue me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me and set me free. Be my rock of safety where I can always hide. Give the order to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. My God, rescue me from the power of the wicked, from the clutches of cruel oppressors. O Lord, you alone are my hope. I have trusted you, O Lord, from childhood. Yes, you have been with me from birth. From my mother's womb, you have cared for me. No wonder I am always praising you. My life is an example to many because you have been my strength and protection. That is why I can never stop praising you. I declare your glory all day long. And now, in my old age, don't set me aside. Don't abandon me when my strength is failing. For my enemies are whispering against me. They are plotting together to kill me. They say, God has abandoned him. Let's go and get him, for no one will help him now. Oh God, don't stay away, my God. Please hurry to help me. Bring disgrace and destruction on my accusers. Humiliate and shame those who want to harm me. But I will keep on hoping for your help. I will praise you more and more. I will tell everyone about your righteousness. All day long I will proclaim your saving power. Though I am not skilled with words, I will praise your mighty deeds, O Sovereign Lord. I will tell everyone that you alone are just. O God, you have taught me from my earliest childhood and I constantly tell others about the wonderful things you do. Now that I am old and grey, do not abandon me, O God. Let me proclaim your power to this new generation, your mighty miracles to all who come after me. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the highest heavens. You have done such wonderful things. Who can compare with you, O God? You have allowed me to suffer much hardship, but you will restore me to life again and lift me up from the depths of the earth. You will restore me to even greater honor and comfort me once again. Then I will praise you with music on the harp because you are faithful to your promises, O oh my God. I will sing praises to you with a lyre, O Holy One of Israel. I will shout for joy and sing your praises, for you have ransomed me. I will tell about your righteous deeds all day long, for everyone who tried to hurt me has been shamed and humiliated. Psalm 72 Give your love of justice to the king, O God, and righteousness to the king's son. Help him judge your people in the right way. Let the poor always be treated fairly. May the mountains yield prosperity for all, and may the hills be fruitful. Help him to defend the poor, to rescue the children of the needy, and to crush their oppressors. May they fear you as long as the sun shines, as long as the moon remains in the sky, yes, forever. May the king's rule be refreshing, like spring rain on freshly cracked grass, like the showers that water the earth. May all the godly flourish during his reign. May there be abundant prosperity until the moon is no more. May he reign from sea to sea and from the Euphrates River to the ends of the earth. Desert nomads will bow before him. His enemies will fall before him in the dust. The western kings of Tarshish and their distant lands will bring him tribute. The eastern kings of Sheba and Seba will bring him gifts. All kings will bow before him and all nations will serve him. He will rescue the poor when they cry to him. He will help the oppressed who have no one to defend them. He feels pity for the weak and the needy and he will rescue them. He will redeem them from oppression and violence for their lives are precious to him. 
Long live the king. May the gold of Sheba be given to him. May the people always pray for him and bless him all day long. May there be abundant grain throughout the land, flourishing even on the hilltops. May the fruit trees flourish like the trees of Lebanon and may the people thrive like grass in a field. May the king's name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun shines. May all nations be blessed through him and bring him praise. Praise the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does such wonderful things. Praise his glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. This ends the prayers of David, son of Jesse. Book 3, Psalms 73 to 89. Psalms, Psalm 73. Truly, God is good to Israel, to those whose hearts are pure. But as for me, I almost lost my footing. My feet were slipping, and I was almost gone. For I envied the proud when I saw them prosper despite their wickedness. They seem to live such painless lives. Their bodies are so healthy and strong. They don't have troubles like other people. They are not plagued with problems like everyone else. They wear pride like a jeweled necklace and clothe themselves with cruelty. These fat cats have everything their hearts could ever wish for. They scoff and speak only evil. In their pride, they seek to crush others. They boast against the very heavens, and their words strut throughout the earth. And so the people are dismayed and confused, drinking in all their words. What does God know, they ask? Does the Most High even know what's happening? Look at these wicked people, enjoying a life of ease while their riches multiply. Did I keep my heart pure for nothing? Did I keep myself innocent for no reason? I get nothing but trouble all day long. Every morning brings me pain. If I had really spoken this way to others, I would have been a traitor to your people. So I tried to understand why the wicked prosper. But what a difficult task it is. Then I went into your sanctuary, O oh God, and I finally understood the destiny of the wicked. Truly, you put them on a slippery path and send them sliding over the cliff to destruction. In an instant, they are destroyed, completely swept away by terrors. When you arise, O oh Lord, you will laugh at their silly ideas, as a person laughs at dreams in the morning. Then I realized that my heart was bitter and I was all torn up inside. I was so foolish and ignorant. I must have seemed like a senseless animal to you. Yet I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. Whom have I in heaven but you? I desire you more than anything on earth. My health may fail and my spirit may grow weak, but God remains the strength of my heart. He is mine forever. Those who desert him will perish, for you destroy those who abandon you. But as for me, how good it is to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my shelter, and I will tell everyone about the wonderful things you do.